Okay, so now to show you how we could use this gradient mesh tool on an actual drawing. Here is a picture that I have of a pair, and here's a gradient mesh that I made. So let me tell you how I created this. First of all, you want to create a color group. And I went with the eyedropper tool on my picture. And here I, I can see that I could use one more here, color. And once you get the color, you go over to the fill and just drag it into the folder. And there is another color. OK, so here what I did, I started out by taking my, well, let me just, oh dear, okay, by taking my picture and I locked it so it wouldn't move. So lock selection, and then I went and zoomed in on it, and I went around it with the pen tool. off my fill color because I just kind of gets in the way there. And I went around and I'm going to eliminate that. And went around. And I just drew just like this the shape and I close it. Oops, there we go. And I'll come here to the direct selection tool and just That's pretty darn good. All right, so now I've got my shape here on here. And then what I did once I had it was to go to my mesh. Well, first of all, what I did was I went to my fill and I filled it with a color and one that I thought was the most color. So let's just say I'll fill it like that. And then um, I moved this, let me just control minus, and I moved this to the side like this, okay. and then went to my mesh and, and started you know, making mesh lines. You see, it takes shape. So once you get a bunch of mesh lines done, you can start coloring. And the more mesh lines you have, of course, the easier, the finer the color is going to be. For example, you know, in through here, you can see that it's kind of reddish. So if I go ahead with the direct selection tool and select in here, and say maybe a mesh point here, or maybe a mesh there, and, and go here, you see it's, it takes on that color. And I can go ahead with the lasso tool here and just do the edges here. And let's say come here and come around and do those and um, come up. Let's see which color this could be. You could also go and uh, 
sample the color like that and it will take on that color also now let's see I'll just do this and you see that's how you start coloring this and of course you know you draw this object and this object and this could use a lot of refinement I have to be honest with you I spent 30 minutes just on this it's not something that you do quickly it takes a lot of time and effort but I think the end result is very rewarding so we'll go on to the next tutorial which will be an easier one bye